guests, um, distinguished members of Cancer Center for Nurses, oh sorry, Care Center for Nurses, I got excited, esteemed colleagues, my Princess Margaret family, thank you so much for coming despite our pregnancy day. Um, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is with immense gratitude, honor, pride, and humility that I stand before you today to receive this prestigious John Wesleyan Award for 2024. This prestigious award is not only for me, also a recognition to all the nurses for our dedication to provide excellent care to our patients. It is rooted on the values that guide us as nurses. These are the same values that have shaped my journey from the Philippines. It has been a privilege and an honor to start my nursing career in Princess Margaret University Health Network. Today, I stand here not just an individual receiving this award, but as a part of international educated nurses who have supported by Care Center for Nurses. And also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Brenda Curtis from University Health Network for her dedication and unhealthy and unwavering support for IONS like me. Thank you for believing in us. Also, I am thanking Care Center for Nurses for choosing me to receive this prestigious award. Thank you, Ruth for being supportive since day one and having a strong dedication for giving IELTS an opportunity to achieve our dreams. Thank you. It is such an honor to receive the Joan Lesman Award, a humbling recognition of the work that we do every day to make a meaningful impact on the lives of our patients and communities. This award is not only a reflection of my personal dedication, to nursing, but also a tribute to the countless individuals who have mentored, supported, and inspired me throughout my career. As an international educator from the Philippines, I have always believed that our work is grounded by the Care Center's four values, which are respectful, collaborative, compassionate, accountable, professional, and inclusive, which Joan Wesson herself Exemplified. These are not just words, however, it is the foundation of what we do, not just for our patient, also for our colleagues, especially to our aspiring nurses. I would like to take a moment to reflect on how these values shape my nursing career. Respect. Respect is the essential foundation of all our interaction, whether in providing care for our patient, working alongside our colleagues, or engaging with a family member. I believe that every person deserves to be treated with respect, compassion, dignity, and understanding. This respect allows us to establish a safe and trusting environment, which are crucial components of care and healing. Professionalism. It is a standard by which we define ourselves. It goes beyond technical skills. It is about maintaining ethical standards and continuing education. I strive every day to be the best version of myself, to stay informed, and to learn from my experiences in order for me to uphold the highest standards of care that I can offer. The value of compassion gives us drive to go beyond the technical aspects of our profession. Despite the high demand of work, we still ensure to be present for our patients on their most vulnerable moment. It is not just offering our medical expertise, rather offering emotional support, showing kindness and understanding. I've also witnessed multiple times how small gestures of giving comfort, a reassuring touch, or just by simply being there for them that can make a difference to someone facing illness. Compassion is not just an attribute. It is our responsibility we carry with us every day. 
commitment to excellence. Patient care is what motivates us to continue our work despite of challenges, especially during the pandemic, that tested our dedication to our work. Looking back where I started my nursing practice, from the busiest and overcrowded hospitals in the Philippines to the healthcare settings here in Canada. I have witnessed the importance of quality care, regardless of working in limited resources or in advanced healthcare systems. The need for skilled, compassionate nursing care is universal. Our commitment is not just about meeting the minimum standards. It is about striving for excellence and ensuring that every patient receives the care they deserve. Today, as we celebrate this award, it also reminds us the values that Joel Lesnar embodied, the values that are the heart and soul of nursing. This award is not only a recognition of my work, but a reminder of the responsibility we all share as nurses. It challenged us to keep striving for excellence, to remain compassionate in the face of adversity, and to continue advocating for the patients who depend on us. It also calls on us to be inclusive, recognizing that each patient, regardless of background, culture, or circumstance deserve the same high standard of care. In closing, I want to express my deepest thanks to Care Center for Nurses for this prestigious honor. Thank you to God, my family, my colleagues, my mentors, and patients who have been constant source of inspiration and strength. And most of all, thank you to all nurses across the globe, especially my fellow nurses from the Philippines who work tirelessly every day to bring care, hope, and healing to those who need it most. May we continue to uphold the values of professionalism, compassion, and commitment in every action we take. And may we all always try to make a meaningful difference in the lives of the people we serve. Thank you. Oh, kayo palang ina ni ano ni Jane na awarded dito. Ako po ang mother, the only mother of Jane this is Caligano Rojas. Okay. So, bakit po kayo napasal dito sa Toronto? Ano lang po, vacation. At saka at the same time, may meron siyang award. I'm very proud to see our daughter, my daughter, be awarded. Anong award ho? Si... Was, ano, the, uh, the, 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 the only winner of the narrative. Oh. Nurses, internationally educated nurses here in Canada. So, matagal na hubang nurse si Jane? She's been here, I think, uh, she's been here as a nurse for two years. Only for two years. Okay. So, ano ha, bumibisita ba kayo ng Toronto o dito na kayo nakatira? We're just a visitor here in Toronto. Uh, napunta kayo dito dahil kay Jane? At the same time, application. Oh, okay. So, ano masasabi niyo kay Jane Ho? I'm very proud of my daughter, of course. And I think we have Being a mother, it's my honor. Oh, ilan ba yung anak niyo, nurse, kao niyo? Uh, I have three daughters who are ano, nursing course. Okay. One in the Philippines, one in California. And here in one here in Canada. Okay. Lahat yan mga nurses? Yeah. All day, yeah. My, my eldest daughter is in Texas. And is the vice president in JP Morgan. Mm -hmm. The second is in... Is also here in Ontario. 
in SME, she is now a consultant. I still don't know the company. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, baka meron pa kayong gusto sabihin, no? <laughs> Talaga magagaling ang mga Pilipino. Kahit sa andalhin, magaling din. Yeah, tama. Sabihin, no? Totoo yan. Oh. Right. Okay, salamat po. So my name is Marina Navarro and uh, I'm Jane's friend. I've been I've known Jane for a long time. And uh, she's really a great person and uh, I'm really really happy. And I was really surprised for for her getting this award. It's it's really it's really I'm being proud. I'm very proud for being like uh, one of uh, change friends, and I'm very proud to be a, um, a Filipino as well. And uh, I'm really glad that I have uh, Jane as uh, this is really a great privilege uh, for uh, every Filipino nurses to have this award, and it's really a very uh, how how do I say this? It's really an honor uh, to have uh, this kind of work. So, are you also a nurse? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a nurse. Uh, we are in the legal profession. Oh, all right. Thank you. So, Jane, binigyan ka pala ng award ngayon dito sa Princess Margaret Cancer Center. So, can you tell us what about it? So, um, the award po na na-receive ko, uh, it is Joan Lesmond Award. It is a prestigious award uh, given by Care Center for Nurses. Um, so, marami pong uh, international educated nurses who applied for this award and I am greatly honored that um, they chose my story for all, to, uh, among all of the international educated nurses who applied for it. So it's um, recognizing international educated nurses. So um, nag-aral po ako sa Simone de Jos Educational Foundation, um, sa, located in Metro Manila. So I came here po last uh, December 2016. Actually, um, um, entry ko po dito is a uh, live-in caregiver. <laughs> so it is a uh, a long journey, um, a sacrifice for to be away from my family and ever since I haven't po na nakawi sa Philippines. And then through the help of Care Center for Nurses, oh yes, Center for Nurses, um, they helped me na, na ma-achieve ko yung dream ko to become a registered nurse here in the Philippines, I mean here in Canada. So pumasok ka ng Canada as a living in caregiver? In yes po. Noong 2016? Yes. Oh, okay. And then, and then um, after how many years? Uh, that? So, naging permanent resident lang pa ako noong uh, 2022 20, actually. Uh, March 2022, I got my my license uh, license as an RN. And then, uh, it's a long journey because matagal yung process para makarun ako ng open work permit. I work as a, a nanny. So, those uh, hardship and struggle just for me to be able to reach my dream as a Canadian RN. Uh, okay, so you're nag pa rin ng nursing dito? Um, in addition to what you already know? Um, actually, hindi na po. I just um, took the exam. Um, uh, yung mga um, uh, exam and then uh, we have given an opportunity to update our practice uh, during the pilot program ng Care Center. Um, and then after completing uh, my number of hours, I was able to apply for my Canadian license. Uh, so, our in Canada since when? Um, 2022, March. Oh, right. March 2022. Okay. And from then, you're talking to Mrs. Margaret? Yes. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Nakakakaba po pala pag ini-interview.